Good morning, everybody. 7.30 in the morning. We uh, about 47 hours and 45 minutes into our trip since we left St. Mark's, Florida, Monday morning at 8 o'clock. And um, we're making headway. We're easing around the southern tip of Florida, trying to stay in the shallower water to keep these winds from building heavy swells and then waves on top of the swells. So uh, we're, we're going to make our way to the southernmost tip as, if we can and then, um, and then cut across to the Keys. We're going to have a beam a beam sea and it's not going to be comfortable but in the shallower water coming in that way um it shouldn't be as bad as real big swells on wood waves on top and plus it's i think 55 nautical miles across after um We get to the southernmost tip. So last night was uh, real bad weather. I mean, real bad. I got lifted completely. I finally went to bed at one o'clock, and um, we had skirted up against the shoreline for real close, and uh, where it was blocking some wind. It was a decent ride till about 4 a.m. Then I got lifted completely off my bunk into the air. It was not good. It was a, uh, it was crap from then on, and it has been ever since. So rough ride, not a lot of sleep, not good sleep for sure. And uh, so it was one of the rough nights in the, in the loop. I, I can't wait till I get to the keys because after this there'll be no, there'll be no schedule and there will be no uh, reservation anywhere. That's, that's what's changed everything, driving 48 hours straight. But my crew that's with me, Dallas and Weston, phenomenal last night. They absolutely saved the day running the boat from 1 a.m. until I got back up here at 7, 7.30. Thank you all later on this afternoon. Let's go on. Here we go. 